Uh, first of all, we have got a new uh, Lely robot uh, in now and we intend to do uh, some research uh, work on that over the, the next couple of years. Um, uh, one important point, I suppose, is that we are operating the system here as a spring calf grass-based system, uh, the same as the majority of conventional herds uh, out there. Uh, a lot of people consider that the technology is quite expensive and uh, therefore we have to make the most of it we have to optimize the production from the system and the way in which we have chosen to do that is to uh, increase the cow numbers and when we increase the cow numbers we would be reducing the milking frequency and therefore focusing on the total output uh, from the system as opposed to the output per cow when you're talking about i suppose there are two key points uh, when one is talking about increasing uh, cow numbers uh, in a robotic system uh, there are two fundamental points there and one is that one has to have very good cow flow uh, to get the cows moving around the system uh, very smoothly and uh, secondly uh, one has to uh, we have to make the most of the box time that is uh, that to decrease the milking time as far as possible in order to uh, get a good a good um, uh, throughput of cows through the system. So uh, in recent years, uh, in previous years, we had uh, a three-way. We had 80 cows on, on the robotic system here and uh, we had a three-way system in ABC grazing system. Now that we're going to 90 cows, we're hoping to, to go to 90 cows this year and maybe higher depending how the system goes, uh, maybe higher next year. Uh, but in that scenario, we're talking about going and we are have gone uh, a four-way system, an ABCD yeah. system, and that actually is quite new, uh, you know, for uh, within uh, grass-based uh, robotic milking systems. So, um, basically, our research uh, for the uh, coming uh, for the coming uh, couple of years now will be focused mainly on, uh, first of all, the grass-based system and making sure that that four-way system uh, works properly. And uh, it involves the it involves dividing the farm into four sections, uh, allocating grass uh, to cows in each of the four sections uh, during each 24 hours, and uh, then so we have to look at uh, the best way of managing that the the amount of grass to allocate, uh, the uh, gate uh, change times, uh, the times that the, we would like the cows to come in and out of those paddocks, and uh, and that. Uh, so the grassland management is going to be a key part of the, the programme now for the coming year. Uh, the second major thing that we'll have to be focusing on would be the milking frequency. Because again, when you have more cows uh, in the system, up to 90 cows, uh, you do have to uh, reduce the milking frequency yeah. to some extent, particularly at the peak uh, milk production time. Uh, there are six or eight weeks there where the system is going to be under pressure, where all of the cows will be at peak milk production together. And therefore, we will have to, building up to that, we will be reducing the milking permission uh, slightly as we go along uh, in order to reduce the milking frequency to, to give all cows a chance of being milked uh, somewhere between uh, somewhere up to twice a day and uh, so we can do that by um, by controlling uh, the milking frequency alternatively we obviously don't want to reduce the milking frequency too much at that time of the year because uh, you know it could have a negative impact on the yield